Hi, welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler, and I've decided to do another paper towel painting. Last time I did this, it was an abstract painting, and this time I'm going to see if I can actually paint a face. Of course, since it's paper towel, it's going to bleed all over the place and move and all, so I'm probably going to be doing a lot of this painting off camera. But I'm just going to see what happens. As I've said before, with these YouTubes, I like to just really do experimental things at the same time that I'm working on my other stuff, which is mostly the Blue Ridge. I'm working right now on a painting of wintergreen that I thought was going along so well. I was so thrilled. I put it in my blog, wow, it's just doing great. And then it's, look, it's like it took a nosedive right off a Blue Ridge cliff. Couldn't believe it. I thought, ah, oh. but that's painting. If we knew exactly what we were doing, we wouldn't do it. It would be boring. I think most artists would agree with that. It's still always an experience. And it's the result of a lot of years of learning, too. Um, when people see me paint and they think, wow, you're just born knowing how to do that. You're so talented. Well, I've been working at this since I was 12. I've <laughs> been working at artwork my whole life. But actually working with a brush, since I was 12 years old, I've certainly learned a lot. Well, this is interesting. It's not bleeding as much. So I, I said that last time, too, that it's not bleeding so much. So this might be really, really an unusual painting that um, actually works out on a paper towel. Of course, I will not have that for sale. It's just a paper towel. But um, it's going to pick up the pattern like it did last time, and it um, maybe it's not going to bleed as much. Last time I commented on it, too, I thought it was going to be going all over the place and really picking up the pattern, and that's not really what happened. Now, it is bleeding, of course, but uh, not like I thought it was going to. And I decided, and I'm not going to do a, what we call a representational painting. I'm still going to keep it very abstract in the way I handle the paint, the brushwork, and the colors. But I am going to have an actual shape this time, obviously. The face, um, something that you hear a lot from artists and teachers and all, is that when you make up a face, which I did, it usually ends up looking like yourself because you know yourself the most. Well, I made sure that didn't happen. <laughs> Not that I would think it would be terrible to have a painting of myself. I just didn't want that to happen. So this is made up and it does not look like me. Well, this is interesting. I'm able to get the nose to actually come out. I thought that was going to be a big problem because the perspective on the nose is always something that's very difficult. And so I'm not going to follow any kind of color rolls here. I'm just going to play with the paint and see what happens. So far, I think it's coming out kind of interesting. It's going to keep bleeding, though. The last one, when I stopped, it looked a certain way, and you know, I said, well, that's pretty much going to happen, but no, no. It kept bleeding and bleeding and bleeding and became so much fuzzier than what I had painted online. Oh, wow. Definitely need to use more water if I'm going to want it to move around, which is what I do want. And I can go back and reinforce the face here. I was thinking I might also do some splattering or something and just, just really have some fun with this. But I don't know. If it turns out interesting at the end, I might not do that. I want the face in, but in a very just a very coloristic, abstract pattern here, picking up the pattern of the paper towel. And just to see how that turns out. And of course it's not going to be for sale because it's a paper towel, but there will be archival prints. And I think when I get to the eye area I'm going to use a smaller brush. But this is cool. Oh yeah, I like that turquoise got going there. Oh, painting is such an experience. That one I was working on, I just, I was trying to get such a very complicated atmosphere in the Blue Ridge, and I want to tell you that I think it's the very hardest thing. Here I live near the Blue Ridge, not exactly in the Blue Ridge, and I do think that it's the hardest thing. And it's because as the mountains, as you see them in the background, what happens is you have a dissolution of form. You start to lose the form, and the mountains dissolve into colors. But they col the colors they dissolve into are colors that if you mix equally, turn to gray. So trying to get that effect of beautiful warm colored light on a ridge that has is 
has blue and purple colors in the shadows is so difficult. I've been doing it for a long time and it's always quite a trip. And I thought it was working out pretty well and then I realized, oh god, this is getting so studied. It's just, it's looking stiff. I know that makes it sound really weird. But um, if you painted, <laughs> trust me, you'd understand what I was talking about. I put that in my blog, all the trouble that I was having, and another painter said, I know exactly what you're talking about. She knew what I was talking about. We're not making photographs here. Not that there's anything wrong with photorealism, it's just not my favorite. I like I'm very eclectic and I like all different kinds of art, but photorealism is the bottom of the list. I feel like photography is a wonderful art form. Take a photograph. Don't know why you want to reproduce one. To me, it's uh, so much more. I put so much more into it just by every touch of the brush, by every interpretation of the color. Even though I do work from colors I see, I change them. I, you know, I pull them out, which is what Monet did too. He was always talking about that. He was, you know, just enlarging upon what he saw. It wasn't just a matter of what he saw, even though he was just incredible with color. Now, let's see. I can work under the eye area here and see if they'll bleed. Now, if they bleed, that's going to be really interesting because that's going to be really tricky. Well, not very much. And as I said, it's going to keep on bleeding to the end. It's going to make them real blue. Yeah, you can still see the little iris thing I put in, so that's good. And then put in some white in there. It's already white, so it's got a little color to it. People don't realize that everywhere you see white, there's always other colors too. And we say white of the eye. Well, it's not really. Take a good look. You'll see other, other colors in there too. So I don't want it to be exactly white. And I go for the lid. I'll put a pink. Really do enjoy doing these, and I think getting a lot of compliments on how these are turning out, and uh, just watching me paint. Like I said, lots of years and years of practice. Well, I'm really amazed. I really thought it was going to give me a lot more trouble than this. But maybe because it's a very thick paper towel. I want to try this sometime with a real wimpy one. But I think it's probably the last one I'm going to do anyway. It was just a, just thought it would be an interesting idea to do. You know, I think I'm going to get zonky with the white part of the eyes. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that. Get real, real zonky with it. Yeah, as you can see, the nose is really flattened out. That's something I'm going to have to wait till it dries and build up off camera, but um, you know, I'm not real worried about it. It's not something that, that I'm that concerned with. But uh, I did want to really make this, the face, really the painting so that it has a, a very strong emphasis in the painting. But then I want to do some other things with it. Although, you know, you get to a point where, you know, well, maybe what I've got is what I want these very experimental paintings. I'm hoping I'm going to get back to my Blue Ridge one on Monday. It's really, really taking some time. Um, a lot of people don't understand all the time that goes into artwork, they, especially if they see something like this. But this is just an experimental painting. I think it's not a bad painting or anything. I think it's turned out really nicely. But uh, it's not what I usually do. And what I usually do takes a tremendous amount of time and expertise and layers. They're almost always done in layers. And what we're charging for is, yeah, our time. It takes a long time. But uh, expertise? Good grief. Think of all the professions where a lot of what you're paying for is the years of study. Um, I know a doctor who loved what he did. And he got paid for it. You know, went to school for a long time. Practiced for a long time. And he got paid for it, although he did love what he did. So, you know, a lot of people have this strange idea that people that do artwork or musicians, it's what they love to do, and they should just do it for free, paint for free, give it away. I don't want to get off my soapbox here, but <laughs> it's really irritating. Um, I was recently told about a woman who does pottery in a restaurant approached her about showing some of her stuff. And she said, well, you know, I don't need the money, um, so you can just charge whatever you want to. Well, you know, when artists do that, and some artists do, it's truly really true that artists tend to be the worst businessmen, business people in the world, you hurt other people. 
you know, I consider this to be my profession. And I've worked very hard at it my whole life. I have an advanced degree. And it's uh, my profession. I don't believe anybody can do it the way I do it. Because nobody is me. It's unique to me. And I believe in charging for it. And charging a rate that takes into account all my expenses, my studio expenses, my expertise, and yes, my time. Certainly a lot of time goes into it. And artists charge different amounts because artists do it in different amounts of time. Boy, I'm starting to really like this. I'm going to get off my soapbox now and talk about the painting. But it's, it's a real sore point with artists, especially people are always saying, how long did it take you? Because they, you know, they probably are just interested in how long it took you, but I think a lot of people are thinking, well, how can you charge that? Well, you know, can you do this? <laughs> can you do, uh, make a painting exactly the way I do? Don't think so, because you're not me. And you haven't been, probably haven't been spending a lot of your life learning this. Okay, it's, I've been going for 10 minutes. That's good. I don't know if I'm going to go too much longer. I think I'm going to try to see if I can get a little more modeling. That's the rounded areas, which you have to really build up over time. I want to see if I can do that, like especially in the lip area. See if I can start to get them to have that rounded quality, even while it's bleeding into the surface. Yeah, it's helping some. Yeah, I might not do too much off camera. I'm starting to really like the colors. Um, the other one that I did that was abstract, man, I was not happy at all. I was very unhappy because it didn't bleed worth a darn. And, you know, I thought it would. And it just um, didn't pick up the pattern like I thought it was going to. And this one really is. You can see all those little dots and all. And uh, just wasn't real pleased with what was happening. Now this one, I must admit, I'm starting to really like it. Uh, I think having the face in it is really interesting. And I'm not going to lose that. And even though it's going to keep on bleeding and bleeding and bleeding, even where I'm putting these little lines, I don't think I'm going to lose that. I really thought the face would just smush into it and there wouldn't even be a face. Yeah, I think I might try to pull up the nose a little more. But it's it's pushed in the way it uh, bled. It just bled kind of backwards. So the paper towel is, is sunk in, so I kind of doubt I can do anything with that. I might try putting a little white on it and see what happens, but I kind of doubt that I'm going to be able to pull that out much at this point. Or maybe not, who knows. I like doing experimental paintings on YouTube. It really is a, a lot of fun. Well, actually it pulls it out a little more, but not much. I can put a little more of the rounded area underneath it, and then I think I might just quit, and then I'll decide later if I want to go back into this and get more modeling, rounded areas of the features and all, pull them out more, or just let it stay because I really like the really pretty bleeding effect. Okay. Put a little green dot there. All these decisions are really just made on my reactions to color as they're going down. As they are bleeding into it, I'm seeing sort of what I've put in and sort of what just kind of came up and interacting with the other colors. So that's what the decision making that is going on right now. It's just the way I react to color to warm, cool placement. And I think it's come on really well. Although it's probably not a good idea with the nose. I don't know, I'm probably going to have an extremely hard time pulling that out and really getting much modeling, so it's okay. Especially since the paper towel is going the other way. But uh, now I want to get some lines into it. <laughs> get a little, a little more expression into it. And I really like what I did with the lips. I think that turned out very nice and I'm probably not going to mess with them much more. might put a little more uh, red into them, but I really like that. I feel like they we're just sitting in there really nicely. Well, that didn't work. It's gotten too too much through there. Oh, it's not gonna work either, probably. Well, I don't know. I don't want to lose what I've got there, but I wanted a little more of the red. So I'll see if I can do that now. Yeah, that's better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Well, I really like um, this kind of slant I'm going, which I wasn't planning to do, 
but you can see there's just kind of a slant this way of warm colors and then a slant that way of cool colors which I think it makes it makes it look really interesting so I'm just going to do a little more with the eyebrows and probably quit just a colorful kind of abstract face although really what we artists like to think of abstract is when you change things the shapes of things on purpose quite a bit not because you can't draw <laughs> hate to have to say that but I do think some people think that and non-objective or non-figurative is when you don't see any shapes and then shapes pretty much the way you see them in the world as representational so even though this has got a lot of interesting weird expressions of color it does have essentially a representational face uh, I think more and more artists are just saying okay it's abstract or it's not because <laughs> I think people tend to see it that way that if you don't see anything but shapes colors and textures is abstract if you see something it's not <laughs> but anyway we artists tend to have more labels for these things and get into a lot of subtleties of uh, differentiation between them so when I, I hate it when I have a little bit of white showing on the edges because when I take the shot for my website I don't want that to happen well you know this <laughs> I like the way this turned out better than the abstract one I'm kind of surprised but um, I, I just think it, it just turned out more in, as a more interesting more interesting effect probably because of the lines the shapes played off of the lines and which is of course something you see in the world there's really no such thing as exact line although people really flip when I say that but um, edges because uh, everything's light and shade but uh, the line is a wonderful tool an abstraction of the artist okay it's been quite a while and I might work on the nose some more even though the paper towel is going the other way see if I can pull it out a little more uh, might do a little something here and there I don't know there's one more thing I want to do right now but um, I'll probably just wait and see how much more bleeding it's going to do. I have a feeling the face is going to get a lot, a lot softer than it is. And then I'll decide. So thank you for watching. The link to the final painting will be in the description in the video, as well as links to my other artwork.